2009, and it's been all Alabama A&M in the first half. And Michael Burns joining us here at the halftime show as he's got a, uh, we have a special interview coming up here at the halftime show, Michael. Uh, Ted Lee, welcoming to our booth today. Please welcome Mr. Donald Parks, the Deputy Interior Potentate, Potentate, I'm sorry, of the Prince Hall Shriners. And uh, today was Shriners Day here at Alabama A&M University along with being uh, the homecoming activities. Shriners were out there for the coin toss. He's the guy that won us the to toss today. So that's the reason ah, we uh, first the coin. <laughs> so he did a good job with that. But uh, also they're here as part of their national initiative on um, diabetes education. And he's here to talk to us a little bit about that. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Parks, tell us a little bit about the involvement of the Shriners with this. Yes, this year with the Prince Charles Shriners, we uh, formed a partnership with the American Diabetes Association where all of our shrine temples throughout the United States and, and over in Europe, Alaska, Hawaii, and other places, we formed a partnership where we are donating a million dollars over the next two years, wow. Uh, wow. next 10 years, I'm sorry, to the American Diabetes Association for Diabetes Research and Prevention. Uh, our temples, which are located in the cities throughout the United States, are participating in the Walk America and the uh, Step Out for Diabetes program to generate funds and our different temples have donated money. And this year in our convention in Atlanta, we donated $40,000 as a start off for our, our million dollar initiative. Uh, the organization uh, we're doing this through is through our charitable arm of the Shriners called the Prince Hall Foundation. And included in that is uh, other charities that we do throughout the year to uh, support youth and uh, other things. So if someone is not a member of the Shriners, but they want to help your cause out, what can they do to get in touch with you? They can contact the, the local Shrine Temple in their area, and they will uh, direct them how they can participate in the either Step Out program, uh, where we march for dollars, or they can make a direct donation through that Shrine Temple, and that money will then flow into our national headquarters, which will make the donation to the national American Diabetes Association. Okay, okay. Mr. Parks, and it, just in an effort to educate uh, our listening audience, Diabetes, or the disease state diabetes, is the body's inability to produce insulin, which helps the body process sugar. Correct. And now there are two types of diabetes, right? Type 1 and type, type two, 2. Type Correct. Okay, can you give us a little detail about type 1 and type 2? Well, I'm not a doctor, so I don't <laughs> like to get into that. But <laughs> uh, uh, as far as I understand, I'm, fortunately, I'm, I don't have diabetes. Okay. You know, but uh, the way I understand it, type 1 is the first stage, and type 2 is more severe type. But I Type 1 being when you get it as a child. Right. And type yeah. 2, you'll yeah. develop diabetes as an older person. Correct, yeah. yeah. So uh, as part of this initiative, you what are some of the things you're doing to raise these funds in order to help meet your goal? Uh, the, the, the primary thing we're doing is through the Diabetes Association called the Step Out Program, where they you sign up patrons and you, you walk, X number of miles, and the people donate through that okay. process. Okay. Walk-a-thon. Okay. Right. Kind of okay. Right. Correct. Very good. And then uh, one of our major thrusts was we just asked our membership to make donations through their local organization, and then that flowed up to the national headquarters, and then we made the, de uh, the donation to the American Diabetes Association. So talk about the decision to come here today to homecoming and what this will add to you guys. Well, that started with the local Shrine Temple here, Alabama Shrine Temple. They started okay. this a number of years ago, okay. and uh, the state of Alabama decided we'd get behind them and support them on the Shriners Day game. And uh, so that's what we're doing. But this year with the Diabetes Association, we just I decided to come up this year to continue to support them with this program they have here locally it's a great cause yes it is i know we see uh ever since i've been a little boy i can remember seeing brother holyfield and other shriners uh, mr brooks being one one of my neighbors and various parades or things like that can you give the folks who may not know anything about the shriners can you give us a little background about the organization yeah the shriners is uh was originally founded in 1893 uh and it's grown since then uh we have uh temples throughout the united states and we have somewhere around 20,000 members and we also have shrine temples in Europe and the Far East and all of that. Um, but we have our local temples, which Alizar is a part of, and, uh, and then that forms up into a national body, and it's an international organization. Okay. Well, Brother Parks, we thank you so much. My pleasure. For helping us out here on Shriners Day. Homecoming, Alabama A&M University versus the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Bulldogs up 21-7. to It's the end of the halftime. Thank you so much for listening. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> 